Local sports from KYMA News 11. The Phoenix Suns continue to rise in the NBA playoffs. Welcome back everyone. After the Suns put on a clinic at the Denver Nuggets expense at home in the first two games of the Western Conference semifinals, would they meet a stiffer resistance on the road for game number three? Well, the answer wouldn't be surprising as Nikola Jokic receives his MVP award before the opening tip and the Suns, well, they came in very, very motivated in this one in their own right. First quarter, Devin Booker with the steal. He goes up court, goes for the tray. He's going to miss, but he gets his own board and then watch the way he knocks down the next three. Just off balance, the kids got talent. Sun's up early. Then watch Nikola Jokic. You know, he, this is why he's MVP. He's slicing and dicing his way into the lane. It makes it happen right there. But Devin Booker would take My Michael Porter Jr. to school as he kind of dances his way by him and then goes to the hoop and does that. That's why he's one of the best in the league. He would finish with 28 points in the night. The Suns would pull away in the second half, getting the 116 to 102 win, taking the commanding three to nothing series lead, just a win away from making the Western Conference Finals the first time in a long, long time. All right, turning our attention to NCAA baseball, the Arizona Wildcats are on a tear this playoff run as the Cats blew right through the Tucson Regional and tonight, the momentum carried over into the Tucson Super Regional as the U of A lit up Old Miss in game one of their best of three series at High Corbett Field. Even though the Cats suspended two of its relief pitchers before the game, it didn't matter. U of A is just a win away from clinching a spot in the College World Series. Well, earlier this afternoon, both the Southwest Eagles and the Holtville Vikings baseball teams took tough losses in winner's bracket play in the Division Three and Division playoffs, four playoffs, respectfully, in the CIF San Diego section. Both have elimination bracket games come tomorrow. And in the CIF San Diego section, boys championship in basketball on the boys' end. In Division Five, the clock struck midnight on Thursday for eight-seeded Vincent Memorial. The Scots took a close loss to Crawford. Despite the tough title game defeat, we at News 11 Sports commend the Scots on a tremendous playoff run and an outstanding season. Well, moving on to our latest Olympic preview, there's no bigger name in Team USA than Simone Biles. She will be the biggest story in Tokyo this summer, but the question she will face is just how much more she can do. As Jimmy Roberts reports, the answer may come from how high she can go while doing it. The time is now for Simone Biles. Simone Biles' performance in the 2016 Rio Olympics cemented her legacy as an icon in her sport. It's Simone's party and everyone else is just a guest. Oh! Incredible. She sets herself apart because she makes everything look so easy. I feel like even now, I don't understand the full capacity of what I did at the Rio Olympic Games. I think it won't hit me till I may be retired from the sport, which is crazy. In that single games, Biles won more Olympic gymnastics gold medals than any previous American woman. This has been her destiny all along. It didn't feel real. We had trained so hard, but in that moment, it kind of felt like a fairy tale. Fairy tales are for kids. Biles stepped away from the sport she wrote a book, took a turn at Dancing with the Stars, and wondered how her gymnastics story could get any better than what had already been. To be completely honest, I was terrified to come back because I thought I hit the top of what I was capable of. In her remarkable run since returning, Biles is putting her stamp on the sport with moves so uniquely difficult they're being named after her, including the buzzworthy triple-double, now called the Biles 2. Sometimes going into it, I'm like, don't bail. You'll literally die. Like, you will break something. <laughs> Simone's got enough gold medals at home. Someone give this girl a crown. 